Matter of fact, 1 Corinthians 13 equates the receiving of love with maturity. We talked a little bit about that last week. And I'm sure we'll talk more about that. So that's the words he's speaking in 1 Corinthians 2, 13. You know, that's what Paul is speaking. And again, because the Corinthians weren't engaging this process of maturity, they were still receiving the words in a natural soul divisive way. I'm of Paul, I'm of Apollos, I'm better than you. I, I understand faith better. There was strife, division. But Paul himself was speaking these words in power. And if the Corinthians engaged themselves in the process of maturity, they would have received the actual growth um, of what the power Paul was preaching and they kept they would have kept maturing in their sonship edified by this love that made him a son my god pray much in tongues if your church doesn't believe in praying in tongues and listen i'm not saying be mean to anybody but find a church that believes in turning you over to the holy spirit through praying much in tongues and like i said last week down below in further resources the bronc flint one and the JMM Grace one, they both have um, Sunday weekly services, so you can make that your church online. Um, and, and God, uh, Jesus, if you live, you know, near Immokalee, Florida, or Dayton, Ohio, you know, go to these churches. Um, they're revival churches. They they're training centers, maturing sons. Um, you know, for the purpose of revival. But listen, even if you don't want that. Um, this church will, as you engage yourself in what they preach, will keep you saved. You know, you, you must maintain at least a mostly pure conscience to keep your uh, salvation. And radical grace is so bad because like a drop of water on a rock for a million years, eventually it's going to penetrate. So even if you're standing in a, in a mostly pure conscience concerning, you know, the bigger sins, um, if you keep hearing this bad grace, it can easily break through and then you start to accept it and then you start to sear your own conscience, walk away from God and you could quite possibly lose your salvation. So get out of those churches. 